Hey, what's up everyone out there? This is Marlon from Fishing Addicts Northwest. We're doing a little anchor fishing out here today on the Columbia. The water's a little bit high, but we are gonna be doing a lot of trolling this year, and so we wanted to go over just our basic trolling setup for herring in the Columbia River. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna talk about with this herring setup is the rod. Anything from a nine and a half to a 10 and a half, these softer composite rods that all the companies are making now. This is the Okuma Guide Select Classic. We're trying these rods out. They're an awesome rod, you know, a little bit more affordable for the everyday fisherman. Also, you have the Okuma line counter reel that we've paired with this. It's another great affordable reel out there. We're using these for everything now in the Columbia because having the line counter out there, being able to know how far you're putting it out there is perfect for these setups. After the reel, what we're gonna go to first, the first thing we have on the line is we have one bead and then we have our sliding dropper setup and this is gonna be a 15 pound mono. The reason we're using a 15 pound and a little bit lighter line is so when you're trolling along, if that gets snagged up, your dropper will break and you won't lose the rest of your setup. And so we got B, and then we got a swivel here that's just gonna slide on your main line and then we got another bead to a bead chain. And we have a lot of bead chains on here. You're gonna notice that pattern throughout the whole setup just to keep everything from tangling up. After you have your bead chain, then we have a duo snap to a 200 pound tuna mono here. And this, this 200 pound, the reason we use this in here between our bumper is because it's gonna keep things from getting tangled. This is a very, a lot of times if you let your setup out too fast to the bottom, you know, it could get tangled up. And by using this 200 pound tuna leader, it's gonna keep things a lot less tangled up in the bottom of the river. After you do that, you got another bead chain to your short bus flasher. We're always gonna be fishing short bus. We really like short bus. They have a lot of different selections of flashers out there, a lot of different colors. Also, JT is, is nice enough to make customs for anyone, so if you got a cool idea out there, you know, make sure you hit up JT from short bus. So after you have your flasher, the next thing we're gonna go to is another duo snap to our 25 to 30 pound leader. All right guys, so I wanted to show you what this setup looks like in the water. As you can see, you got that flasher spinning, then you got behind your herring also spinning. Real, real nice attractor for these for these spring salmon. But as I was talking about the 36 inch leader, the reason we have the shorter leader today is because the murkier water keeping it closer to that flasher really attracted in that fish. But as the water starts to clear up, you'll definitely want to lengthen your leader out and play with different leader lengths. Experiment out there guys, it's gonna, it's gonna really help you on the water. All right guys, so that's your basic Columbia River herring trolling setup. Also, you can use a lot of other baits. You can put a prawn spinner behind there. You can do a lot of different things when you're out here trolling in the Columbia. We got lots of other videos. Check out our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're gonna have a lot of different Springer videos coming out this 2017 season. So make sure you check them all out. We'll see you on the river.